Hello, hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. This is Aloha and I wanted to do a little tutorial for you guys because I got really excited. I got uh, inspired uh, by one of the posts on Instagram and I wanted to do my own take on it. First I thought that's how it was supposed to go but when I watched the video all the way through, she actually did it just a little bit different than I did. Um, I'm going to incorporate mine in a uh, signature. Um, you could also use it for, um, you know, your happy mails and holding ephemeras inside. So I'll give you uh, what it looks like. I'm making some signatures. At, at the moment uh, on my current um, junk journal that I'm making. So here it is. It's this part right here. So you can see. So uh, I sewed here and this is going to be a tuck. And these are going to be little um, pockets. One over here and one over here. So I haven't glued these down yet. But that's basically what it is because I got really excited. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So, I've had this um, scoring board for a while. And I don't use the, the other part for this. And it is making the envelopes. So this whole time I had this and I was like, oh my gosh, why haven't I done that? So... This little portion here measures your paper to make the score, to, to, to make the envelope. So there's different sizes you can do. And for this one, there's these guidelines for to, to make the sizes. And then um, there's also this part right here. The guide also is on here in this little, um, uh, what is this, compartment. So today I'm going to use a A9 12 by 12 inch because I bought a whole bunch of these at the dollar store. The only thing about this <coughs> is this portion here. I have to cut it out and I'm to lazy to take out my cutter so i'm just going to use my scissors gosh how's everybody today it's monday and it's a beautiful day outside spring i can smell it in the air so i always wondered how to use this so i realized eventually or figured that you just line it up on this edge here and there will be a portion that's sticking out that's past the edge, the top edge. So line it up right at the edge and right here at the end. Make sure this is, um, we'll make sure this is like really pushed in here. So now you look at your guide. So A non, I'm doing the 12 by 12 inch size and you can tell here by the guide that you have an A and B. So these are the four sides of the paper. So for the A side, it's three and seven eight inches. And for the B sides, it's five and a half inch. So I'm just gonna go, this is my A side. I'm gonna start with A, three and seven eight, so three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because that's A. So don't get confused. So make sure that you go A, B, A, B. So turn 90 degrees. And now I'm on B. And it's five and a half. So you go five. And here's the half. And then you're back to A, which is three and seven eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. <laughs> Whoops. Let's not make a mistake. 
and then you go turn again 90 degrees and then you go for the five and a half so now you turn it over and you could see the scoring and you just cut cut these triangles out I actually never know where to do you cut right outside the score line or right in the center or in? Do you guys know what I'm saying? So I'm just cutting outside of the crease. Um, I've This is my second time making this. So th that's the one that I showed you earlier was my first time making it. So this is the second time I'm making it. So I hope this turns out. Okay, <laughs> it's just that I thought this was a very easy tutorial to make and I thought it'd be really neat to incorporate it in your, in your journals or even for Happy Meals, like I said. So you just fold it in, all your sides, fold this in, well, and then this part this part is where it gets different um so i folded this behind or back instead of using it as a flap see that's supposed to be the flap anyways so there you go and then i just folded it folded it in half again over and there is your I guess your your structure see isn't this really cool I and um, you know I you could sew right in the center here but because I'm putting it in a journal or in a signature I didn't really need to sew that in the center but if you are going to use this as a um, as a happy mail, definitely, you know, um, sew this in. Okay, so this is where it can get, um, you know, you wanna, you can leave it like this. You don't have to sew it in. You can actually just glue it down if you'd like. But if you wanna just do a little bit further on this, um, you can start embellishing. And for me, I'm just going to um, distress ink the edges. Use whatever ink you like. I mean, you could even use blue if you had blue. I think that would be really nice, but I don't have blue. You could ink all of the edges if you like. So, you can also, so if you don't want to leave this white, or it's best if you use, you know, a piece of paper that is double-sided, that would be really nice. So what I did was, with mine, I just used a, an extra scrap piece of paper and I just glued it down here to make this. So... Let's see, and I used a little bit of lace to glue the edges. mark where the fold center is flip over and then mark where the center fold is and see where that line is
Um, this happened to me. I don't know why that's not folding right smack in the center, like aligned. But that's okay. I mean, it's going to get covered up anyhow. So that's not really a big deal. This has a crease because this is scrap. I did mess up earlier. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use this right here. Oh, should I? Oh no, it's not going to align. Oh. Not a big deal. That's really not a big deal. I can just cut it. So no problem. Okay, so let's glue this down. Usually I line it from the top here and from the inside because if it doesn't align outside here, you can always trim it and cut it. Wow, this one aligned nicely. Let me just see if that's okay with the crease because, yeah, I'll just use it, no big deal. I'm sure I'm going to embellish it somehow and then that'll get covered up. Okay. And Okay. Um, I can't. I'm going to sew this. I'm going to sew the middle. But before I sew the middle, I wanted to sew sew this edges. So I'm gonna sew it this way and sew the edges first, and I'll show you that. Okay, so guys. See, I sewed this first just to add so I haven't done anything because once I sew the center, that's it. It's all folded up and things are in place. And I'm also going to glue this down first. And then I'm going to sew here, just here. Okay, so I'll be back. Or maybe I can sew up here too. I'm going to sew up here. Okay, so I have sewn the top. Sewn these. I've left this because I want to sew that together. Right? And then don't forget this. And I'm going to glue. I'm going to glue. this because you know you could decorate it afterwards and add the embellishments after there. Hold that down and then glue this down if you don't like the the thread sticking out you can just cut it cut that out okay oops oops I forgot to put a strip of glue there not too much glue for this one here because you will be sewing it anyway that's just an extra reinforcement that I do Ooh, look how pretty this is already I don't even know why I did that. I just realized because I'm going to be adding lace. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that's fine. 
right, I'm going to glue this and this and the center. And I'll be back. Okay, guys. I have sewn everything and glued everything down. So, I mean, we could, from here, either just um, decorate and or you can just stuff it with all the goodies that you want let me see what i've got okay but i still want to so since i already sewed this bit i'm not gonna put anything on there so i think i'm going to put lace instead on here wouldn't that be nice yes Okay, so let me do that. Nice, even strip. And just line it right on the edge. So pretty. It's really adorable. Okay, and then you do the other side. And I can just flatten it out like this. It's my life easy. That's so cute. I don't know if we should add here as well or do we need to? Because I'm not really sure. Because that's gonna get covered when you're stuffing it with your with your ephemera. So what kind of ephemera should we do? Well, I've got a whole bunch of these pretty papers and little envelopes and little cards. Let me just see what I have. cute cards like this so cute and I have um, little cute envelopes like this and it's got um, a little tuck or a slit here to tuck the envelope in I can do that maybe here I also got oh, I also got a whole bunch of coin envelopes. Really cute and I I mean I can put little cards in here after um this is going to um a happy meal. Uh, I want to give it to um a friend that recently sent me a happy meal and I wanted to just say a little thank you. So I'm not gonna say who it is yet because I just want it to be a surprise. So I'm just gonna cut little pieces of paper, um, you know, for her and I want to give her some nice little cute papers like this. So I'm gonna cut it up and um, stuff it inside. I cut about four and four and a quarter. And then here, 
here. This one here. Really nice. Okay. And then let me do another one. It's another one. Oh, well, that's really nice. Um, you can tuck a lot more stuff in here and make little tags. And maybe I'll do that and put a little um, paper clips and hang little. Let me just see. I have just to, maybe I can show you. pretty so well this isn't going with this I just thought I'd show you what it looks like um, so that's so pretty isn't it oh my gosh okay so there you guys have it that was a really quick easy um, tutorial little craft that you guys can make for yourselves or for your journals or to give us happy mail so have a good day you guys um, get inspired bye for now